Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of The Nerd Herders. I'm Nick. I'm Rich. And today we're going to talk about what we're up to. Mm -hmm. But immediately what we're up to is drinking this week's beer, yep. which is the Big Leaf Maple Autumn Red. Uh, big fan. I, I like this beer. It's good. I'm actually... I'm actually having a hard time not just like drinking it. Yeah, mine's mine's already like yeah. getting there. So this might be a two beer episode. We'll see. We'll see. Um, I like it a lot. So, what have you been up to? Um, I went up to three things. Oh, okay. You, I'm gonna let you pick. All right. What we talk about first: movie, show, or game? Game. Game. All right. So first thing we're talking about. Uh, I started The Witcher 3, mm. Wild Hunt. Okay. About four hours, four or five hours into it. Okay. It's good. I'm not I'm not immediately like, oh my god, this is going to be my game of the year. This is going to change things. But I'm still very early into it. It's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. um, it, you know, definitely has that I can go anywhere I want. I see that mountain range or those hills in the distance. If I want to go that way, I can go that way. If I want to explore over here, I can explore over here. Um, I'm slowly seeing the story kind of kick into motion. Um, which, I, from what everything I've heard on it, the story's supposed to be really good. Mm -hmm. um, but so far, I'm definitely enjoying it. Um, if you have the time, the funds, and want to check it out, I definitely recommend it so far. Um, hopefully this weekend I'll be able to put some more time into it so I can give a little bit more of an update on that. Nice. I have it. Have yeah. not played it yet. Hopefully someday I'll get to it. Yeah, that's good to hear. Uh, all right, how about the show? Uh, I started watching Netflix Making a Murderer. Oh yeah, it's good. Um, like three and a half episodes in. I have a little bit left of the fourth episode to watch. Um, I think it's ten episodes. Yes, yeah, ten. Um, I don't want to give too much away, sort of, of what the plot of it is. It reminds me very much of like the serial podcast, but as a documentary show. Um, very interesting, very compelling. Um, same way of serial where I'm like, I just, I could sit here all day. It's time and, and life has stopped that. But I could just sit here all day and just watch this and burn through this thing. Every episode kind of hits that cliffhanger point where I'm like, I need to know what happens next and where this like story develops and how it goes. Have you started that one yet or no? No, I'm super interested in... I love cereal. Um, I've heard a lot of people that I respect talk about it. It was the talk of the Christmas break, I feel. Mm -hmm. Like, everybody was watching this show. Um, and I've heard a lot of people compare it to cereal and to HBO's The Jinx from last year. Uh, the, I heard a lot of people say, like, as good as this is, The Jinx was still a little bit better. Okay. But it's definitely right up my alley. I hope to watch it soon. And cool. it's just another example of Netflix. But not something yeah. that it's crazy. Netflix is kicking ass and taking names. What is it, like seven ninety nine, eight ninety nine 99 a month? Just yeah. Get Netflix. If you don't have it, don't steal it. Yes, um, please. That's cool. And you saw a movie. I did see a movie. I saw mm -hmm. the now Oscar-nominated, which we'll talk about more tomorrow, The Revenant. Which I'm going to see in three hours. Cool. From, from right now. From right now. Um... I will be very curious to hear your thoughts on it. Okay. This is a movie, for me anyway, I, there's a lot in it that I really like. Okay. It's, it's beautiful, the acting is fantastic, there's so much going for this, it just doesn't really click for me. Hmm. Okay. Um, I've kind of compared it to how I felt sort of about the master is that it's <laughs> that was a that was a not a fan not a fan like no. if someone were to say to me was this would you classify it would you say it was a good movie I would say yes this is a good movie but like it's there everything all of the pieces are there like it's everything's going for it but it just doesn't hit for me for whatever reason I'd be willing to give another shot because I know a lot of people are like, oh my god, this is the greatest movie of the year. This is amazing, whatever. Um, so I'm willing to go in with another mindset. You know, maybe I was, it's been a rough week. I was tired last night. I may have been something to do with it. I'd be willing to try it again. But it feels very much 
like, and this isn't the first, I've had a couple people, you know, say this to me after I mentioned to him as well, it feels very much like Inarachi doing Malik. That's Which I was right at trailer. Yeah. yeah. Which I know you're a big Terrence Malick yeah. fan, so that... It could definitely... Um, it, it's... So it's like, it's almost three hours. It is. And yeah. does it feel like... It Because it's interesting that, like, this guy who, coming off of Birdman, which... A fake continuous shot, yeah. but basically non-stop mm -hmm. 95 minute movie. Yeah. Boom. Over. And, like, then to go to this, like, long... It... Sprawling. You feel every minute of this movie. Whether that's, that's a so good, interesting. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, I have heard both sides of that argument. Um, yeah, I'm definitely excited to see it. Mm -hmm. um, and I have no idea what. I mean, to compare it to the map, I, I love um, Paul Thomas Anderson, mm -hmm. but I hated the master. See, I only compare it to the master in just sort of my my opinion of it, right. where it's like. There's a lot, I love everything about the master. The right, performances are great. The uh, directings are everything about it's great, but it just doesn't quite yeah, I couldn't, work. No. The entire movie, I was not into this. Like I could not connect with it mm -hmm. at all, and it just I just it was respecting it. the same thing. It sounds like we have a similar opinion on that one, and I hope that's not what I go through tonight. Mm -hmm. But um, interesting. So um, that's what I've been up to. What about you? What have you been up to? Uh, I really only have one thing to talk about okay. uh, since we last recorded, but that is I finally finished Jessica Jones. Oh. Um, no, have you finished it? I have not. I'm not going to spoil it. Okay. Uh, for anyone watching it. And, you know, it's been out for about two months now, I think. Yeah, about, about November. And, like... That's kind of how I like to watch Netflix shows. I don't like to rush, mm -hmm. watch everything in a weekend, forget what episodes were what, and not really understand the pacing of the show. Yeah. And I'm not. I'm just not a big fan of binge watching stuff. Um, I'm more of a fan of spending more time with the episodes, more time thinking about it, and mm -hmm. blah blah blah. So that's why it took a while. I'll do the same thing with Daredevil. I'll do the same thing with Daredevil season two. I'm sure. But um, what I'll say is, I thought that the show was really great. Okay. But I think it was a really great 13 episodes that could have been an all-time 10 episodes. Okay, that's kind of what I've it's, heard and a It's bit so too. weird that, like, you know, um, and I realized it around episode 11, like, basically, Jessica gets really close okay. to putting the Kilgrave storyline to a finish for like the fourth time. Mm -hmm. And I was like, all right, <laughs> like you're, they're drawing it out. And I don't know why they have, like Netflix has set this 13 episode thing for them yeah. and Daredevil. And I felt the same way about Daredevil. Daredevil could have lost two episodes worth yeah. of content easily. And I don't understand why, you know, you feel that with network television where it's like, they have to get to 22 episodes mm -hmm. and there's filler. But they're doing that partly because they have to hit November sweeps, and they have to hit May sweeps, yeah. and they have to get the ad revenue, and they have to do this and that. Netflix doesn't have any of those stipulations, so why not just give them, like, oh, you don't have 13 episodes worth of story? Here's, just do 10. Like, yeah. why does it have to be 13? I don't understand. Yeah, that's a little... Um, but, that said, I'm very excited for, it definitely makes you more excited for Luke Cage. I can't yeah. wait for Daredevil Season 2. I can't wait for more Jessica Jones. Like... It is really strong. Okay. It just could have been better because they could have cut out a couple of storylines. And I felt like they were just in there because they had to hit a quota. Now, where I'm at in this series, and this isn't like plot related, I am I feel it's I like it much better than Daredevil. And I like Daredevil. Mm -hmm. Would you having seen it all, would you put it where where how would you compare the two? See, it's hard to distance myself because um, literally since, like, I was a young kid, mm -hmm. I remember in, like, 99 when Islands of Adventure opened when my family came down here and I had bought a collection of, like, the first 50 issues of Daredevil and he's mm -hmm. been, like, one of my favorite superheroes okay. ever since. So I was kind of, I, I just love that character so much, but I, Jessica Jones might be a slightly better show. Okay. And I think that her performance and David Tennant's performance 
might slightly be above the performance of, you know, um, whatever his name is. Mm -hmm. Charlie Cox. And Charlie Cox and, and Vincent D'Onofrio. But they're both really good. Oh, and I hope that that continues with um, the stuff that they have moving forward. Luke Cage and Iron Fist and The Defenders. And cool. So, it's yeah, exciting. If you haven't finished yet, it's definitely well worth your time. Probably I finish it soon. Yeah. I'm going to do that when we can talk about that. Yeah. Uh, and that's really all that I'm up to this week. So, uh, again, I'm going to be seeing The Revenant, so there's going to be stuff to talk about. Who, movies, can movies come out this week? I don't know. Ride Along 2? We can talk about that. Yeah, we can talk about that. 5% uh, currently. Um, maybe next week we can have a little more in-depth Revenant. Yeah, this that'd be cool. Yeah. I'll definitely report back on that. Uh, but if you want to know my thoughts in advance, maybe I'll tweet about them. You yeah. follow me. Uh, I'm at Shonks. I'm at Rich Belson. Uh, the channel's on Twitter at OABeer underscore officially. You can email us as well at overbeerofficial at gmail.com. You can also find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash overbeer. You can find us on YouTube. If you search over a beer, you search Nerders. Um, I don't have a custom YouTube URL to give you guys yet because we don't have one. We need 100 subscribers to get that. So... If you like these videos, please share them with your friends and subscribe to our channel. It would be greatly appreciated. Um, if you have any comments or thoughts on anything that we talked about today, leave them there. You can leave them on Facebook. You can tweet at us. We'll respond. We'll give you a like. We'll give you a poke. We'll give you a comment. We'll uh, throw, throw a sheep. We'll throw, we'll throw sheep. We'll throw some livestock. We'll super poke. Um, invite you to Mafia War. I don't know what the Farmville. I'm still getting invites to those. <laughs> Mafia 3, I think they're on or something. Jeez. Um, uh, but yeah, until next time, we'll see you guys later.